Ever wondered why Dublin sounds so different even when speaking English? It's more than just an accent, it's a whole different way of talking. Welcome back to The City Guru. Today, we're diving into the heart of Dublin, exploring the unique twist Dubliners put on the English language. Get ready to discover what makes Dublin's English so special. In Dublin, you isn't just you. Here, the language dances to a tune of inclusivity and warmth, with words like use, yaz, and yizzer painting a picture of community. These aren't just words. They're an invitation into the Dublin way of life, where everyone is part of the extended family. An example of this is if you're in a pub, you might hear a woman shouting, I'll bait yiz if yous look at me like that again. Dublin's English sparkles with its own personality, turning Italy into Italy and Italian, into Italian. It's these twists that add color to Dublin conversations, making every word a reflection of the city's vibrant character. You might hear a taxi man in Dublin saying something like, those Italians. Dubliners have a magical touch, crafting sounds where none existed. Soft ads and surprise R's make appearances, transforming words in a way that's uniquely Dublin. It's like a secret code, understood by those who call this city home. For example, Chardon went to the chipper and got a tray of spicy curdy. Even the word hospital gets a Dublin makeover, becoming hostable. And let's not forget about crips for crisps. These aren't mistakes, they're Dublin's own spin on English, making the language truly its own. Imagine this, you're walking down O'Connell Street and you hear a mother screaming because her son Timmy is choking. Call an ambulance! He's after choking on a crip and needs to go to the hostable! In Dublin, it often takes a holiday, leaving D to do the heavy lifting. This, that, these, and those become dis, dat, dis, and dos. It's a testament to Dublin's knack for keeping language laid back and approachable. Picture this. You're in a local Dublin pub, and a rough-looking drunk man stumbles up to you. Is this yours? He shouts at you, holding your phone. Another example is, you might hear a local named Jacinta say something like, Give us dad smoke, you little shite! Even espresso gets a quick Dublin edit, turning into espresso. It's all about speed and efficiency in Dublin's linguistic landscape, where even coffee gets to the point faster. Maybe you're in a cafe, and you hear a woman shouting to a barista, Give me two espressos, hun, will you? Here. Us can mean me, and me can mean my. It's a playful twist on pronouns that adds to the charm of Dublin's English, blurring the lines between individual and collective identity. An example of this is, I hear Noli's after stealing me bleeding car. Or you might hear something like, Pass us me jacket, hun, it's freezing out. Extra letters and word swaps are part of the game in Dublin. Bananas might become bananids and the Pacific Ocean turns into the specific ocean. It's a creative play on words that embodies Dublin's spirited approach to language. For example, you might hear a young local lad named Jembo, who described coming home from his J-1 visa from Chicago. Jembo means Chicago, of course, describing the Windy City. Dublin's English is a treasure trove of history, culture, and community wrapped up in unique pronunciations and phrases. It's not just how Dubliners speak, it's a reflection of the city's soul. If you've experienced Dublin's linguistic quirks firsthand, share your stories in the comments. We love hearing from you and appreciate your support more than you know. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more travel insights. Until next time, keep exploring and embracing the unique languages of the world.